Welcome back to our Bantu history series. In case you are new here, make sure you support us by hitting that subscribe button to receive our future videos. The Sotho Tswana, also referred to as the Sotho or Basotho, are a Meta ethnicity of Southern Africa, even though the word is currently strongly connected with the Southern Sotho peoples. The individuals who speak Sotho Tswana languages are many and varied. The group's main habitats are in western Zambia, South Africa, Lesotho and Botswana. There are smaller groups in Namibia and Zimbabwe as well. Experts believe that the Tswana people moved from Central and Eastern Africa to Southern Africa around the 1300s, based on oral tradition and anthropological findings. They possessed a renowned empire in science, art and culture. Many Tswana people still adhere to traditional African beliefs, despite the fact that the majority of them are Christians nowadays. Many traits that the Tswana people have in common with other Sotho and Southern Africans. Historically, they mainly practiced agriculture, livestock and trade and have a complex social organization. Over the course of the second millennium, the Sotho Tswana people would have diversified into their current setup but they still have a number of linguistic and cultural traits that set them apart from other Southern African Bantu speakers. These include characteristics like totemism, diboko, men's preemptive right to marry their maternal cousins, and a particular architectural style defined by a circular thatch-roofed hut held aloft by exterior wooden pillars. Their preference for close-knit communities and their attire of skin cloaks together with their history of massive stone construction, were other key characteristics that set them apart. The group is primarily composed of four clusters, the Lozi, the Tswana, and the Kagalakgadi, the Northern Sotho, which includes the Bapedi, the Balobedu, and others, and the Southern Sotho. A fifth cluster, which includes the Pulana, Kagolokwe, Pai, and others, is sometimes called the Eastern Sotho. There is a claim that the Koesan ancestry of the Sotho Tswana ranges from the larger 20%. The Venda or Vavenda originated in the Great Lakes region of Central Africa, same like the majority of other South African ethnic groups. Initially, they made their home in the Sautpansberg Mountains. It was here that they established Desata, their first capital, the ruins of which are still visible today. The traits of several different civilizations, including Muni, Soto, East African, and Central African, seem to have been absorbed into the Venda culture. For instance, the Venda prohibits eating pig, which is typical of the coast of East Africa. In addition, they engage in male circumcision, which is unusual among other Nuni peoples, but prevalent among many Soto. In the 16th century, the Venda language, also known as Tshi Venda or Lu Venda, became separate from other dialects. The vocabulary of Tshi Venda in the 20th century was comparable to that of Sesotho, while the grammar is more like that of Shona dialects spoken in Zimbabwe. In South Africa now, over 875,000 people speak Tshi Venda. The Mapungubwe Kingdom 9th century marks the beginning of Venda history. Historical research indicates that Venda and Mapungubwe's first king was King Shiriadenga. His offspring succeeded Shiriadenga. The real Venda people can be split into two groups, an eastern group that identified as the descendants of Luamonde, Rambuda, Chivashe and Mufapuli, and a western group that was mainly of Singo ancestry and derived from followers of leaders like Mufifu, Sentumule and Kutama. It was thought that by striking a unique drum known as the Ngoma Lungundo, or Drum of the Dead, the Singo ruler could keep his people safe from enemy invasion. The Tsonga people A Bantu ethnic group known as Vatsonga is mainly found in South Africa's Limpopo and Mpumalanga provinces as well as southern Mozambique. They converse in the southern Bantu language of Shitsonga. There is also a very little Tsonga population in northern Eswatini and Zimbabwe. The Tsonga people of southern Mozambique and South Africa have different languages spoken, yet they share some historical similarities and cultural customs. The Tsonga originated in Central and East Africa between AD 200 and 500. 
and they have been moving in and out of South Africa for over a thousand years. They first resided on the coastal plains of northern Mozambique, but they eventually relocated to the Transvaal province and sections of St. Lucia Bay in South Africa as early as the 1300s. The Songa practiced mixed agriculture and pastoralism. The staple foods grown are cassava, millet, maize and sorghum. That is all we had for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment. Thanks for watching. We will see you on the next one.